Hey guys, so newborn babies are a huge source of joy for every family. They're so cute. And parents of many children receive massive respect from others since every parent understands that raising children, it's not easy. But usually the children are of various ages in these families. But how many children can be born at the same time? Multi-baby pregnancies in the modern development of artificial insemination is not a rarity anymore. But the chances of a multi-baby pregnancy naturally is statistically quite low at 1.5 to 2%. So singular egg babies are born when a fertilized egg splits into two, three, or more separate parts. Each of them, for an unknown reason, begins to develop independently. If the division occurred in the first five days after fertilization, then the development of the babies occurs as if they are fraternal babies and each has its own placenta. If the division occurs from the fifth to seventh day, then there is one placenta and the children will be identical. Single egg babies are always the same sex and have a high degree of identicality. The physical similarities in identical twins has always caused surprise and curiosity as well as frequent mystical terror. Thankfully today, science works with statistics. In almost 100% of the cases, identical twins have the same eye and skin color and hair, eyebrow, nose, and lip shape. 97% have similar intelligence levels and 42% have the same fingerprints. About 25% of identical twins are mirrored. This can be seen in their appearances. One might have a mole on the left cheek and the other on the right, or maybe in the location of their internal organs. One twin is often left-handed and the other is right-handed. Identical twins are natural clones of one person, unlike fraternal twins that are completely different genetically. If the possibility to give birth to fraternal twins is programmed in the human genome, the appearance of identical twins is an accident. We suggest looking at these mighty moms that created a large, multi-child family in one go. Quadruplets. According to data from the year 2000, there were only 15 identical quadruplets in the world. 10 of them were sets of sisters, but there are many more fraternal quadruplets. Statistically, quadruplets occur one in every 700,000 pregnancies. Holly, Ellie, Jessica, and Georgina Carls are the only identical quadruplets in the UK. They live with their parents in Bedfordshire. The girls were born in 2006 at 29 weeks. Each of them weighed less than 3.3 pounds. Now, Julia was the 27th woman in the world to give birth to identical quadruplets. Another set of quadruplets, Grace, Abigail, Emily, and Michaela, were born to Bethany and Tim Webb in 2016 in Canada. The doctor asked them during an ultrasound if multi-child births happened in their family. When Bethany was at a loss and was surprised when the doctor started counting. When he showed me the third one on the screen, I thought, okay, that's enough. But he didn't stop, she remembers. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. Honestly, I thought it was a joke for a long time, the father said. The happy parents made a Facebook page where they show how their absolutely identical and wonderful quadruplets live and how the rest of the family lives with them. Quintuplets. There's a known case of identical quintuplets being born. It happened in 1934 to the Canadian family Dion. The Miracle Girls were a tourist attraction in Ontario whose government took care of the girls personally. A separate house was built for them with a fence around it that was always crowded by onlookers. The girls went to every possible exhibition and were pursued by crowds of fans and rubberneckers. According to the girls, their lives were not enviable. Sextuplets. The English Walton family was the first in the world to have identical sextuplets. The girls were born on November 18, 1983. The chances of the pregnancy proceeding normally were 1 in 104 billion. 
That's like putting one person up against the population of the Earth multiplied by 14. Now, on the day of her C-section, Janet was absolutely relaxed. But there was panic outside her room. The operation preparations were very stressful for the doctors. All of their surgeries were canceled, and the paternity ward was closed. Each child that should have been born had an entire team of specialists ready. The mother's state was controlled by a seventh group. Janet gave birth under general anesthetic. Her first question when she woke up was, are they alive? And surprisingly, they were. The six girls were born between 2.2 to 3.5 pounds. When the first critical 48 hours passed, it was clear that these were the first sex tuplets in history to survive. Journalists called them child number one or child number five for convenience sake. Number one, Hannah is an elementary school teacher and lives with her parents. Number two, Lucy, works for local airlines. Number three, Ruth, is a secretary. Number four, Sarah, works in a medical center. And number five, Kate, in the recruitment sector. Number six, Jenny, has her own chocolate stand. In 2014, Sarah was the first sister to become a mom. The Walton family had another daughter, Georgie. Septuplets. One of the first known cases in the world of septuplets are from the Mackay family in Iowa and were born in 1997. Five of them are developing normally, and two of them have serious health problems. Also, in 1998, in Saudi Arabia, Hasna Muhammad Humair, who already had six children, gave birth to septuplets, four boys and three girls. The mom expected quadruplets, in Alexandria, Egypt, septuplets were also born. 27-year-old Gaza Ibrahim Omar didn't use artificial insemination. Four boys and three girls were born after a C-section one and a half months before their due date. Octuplets. 33-year-old Nadia Suleiman gave birth to octuplets. Two girls and six boys in 2000. All the children are alive and well. To this day, there are other examples of octuplet births, but this is the only case where they all survived. The mom then lived with other children and parents in a small suburb of Los Angeles, Whittier. The family already had six babies between the ages of two and seven, and there were some twins among them. The grandma ended up leaving her job and devoting herself to the daughter's family. Nadia herself confirmed that she decided to do this because of her own childhood, where she lacked brothers and sisters. Additionally, the eccentric American said that she follows her idol, Angelina Jolie's example. The octuplets were born thanks to IVF. The doctors in such cases insist on removing some of the embryos. Their number can negatively affect the mother's health as well as their own. But the Californian wanted to support her large family and refused. The mother was single and had long since been divorced because they couldn't have children of their own. The C-section happened nine weeks early. A team of 46 doctors at the birth expected seven babies, which happens, although rarely. However, there were eight babies. Six boys and two girls were all born healthy. They weighed between one and a half to 4.1 pounds. Seven of them could immediately breathe on their own and were bottle-fed. The whole family left the maternity ward after just a week. Ten and greater. There is evidence of ten identical babies being born. These events happened in 1924 Spain, in 1936 China, and 1946 Brazil. But that's not all. In Riley, India, something amazing happened. A 42-year-old woman gave birth to 11 completely healthy babies in 37 minutes. And it's also worth noting that they were all born without surgical intervention. And all of the babies are boys. 
Among them, six are identical. They all weighed about one to one and a half pounds. Now they feel good, although they are still in intensive therapy. Local doctors couldn't believe this, and to everyone's surprise, Maria Fernandez was able to give birth on her own very quickly. The babies were born one after another, and 40 minutes later, the woman had given birth to all 11. Her pregnancy occurred artificially since the couple couldn't have children. They really wanted a child and decided to try IVF. Of course, the result superseded all expectation for the couple and the doctors, and this case will be input into the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you again soon.